a planetary time bomb is ticking away. The ozone layer is a fragile shield of gas that protects the Earth from harmful sun rays. It was in the late 1970s when scientists discovered a hole over the Antarctic, threatening human health and ecosystems. Holes are caused by ozone-depleting substances, or ODSs, often man-made chemicals, once widely used in refrigerators and aerosols. Alors, de this finding prompted the international community to establish a mechanism for cooperation to protect the ozone layer. Uh, taking some Earth views as Atlanta. The process was formalized in the Vienna Convention for the Protection of the Ozone Layer, which was adopted and signed by 28 countries in 1985. In 1987, a ban on ODS gases was introduced. Far from indicating that our efforts have so far been enough, we need to speed up action and set ourselves higher targets and shorter deadlines for reducing and eventually eliminating CFCs and halons. Now, 35 years later, what progress has been made? Well, the hole is healing. In fact, according to NASA, 2019 recorded the smallest hole on record since its discovery. The Antarctic ozone hole is expected to gradually close, according to a UN study, but it will take some time, returning to 1980 levels by 2060. And while most of the banned gases have been phased out, multiple studies have documented an unexpected increase in the production of one banned substance, CFC-11. According to the Environmental Investigation Agency, it's coming from China, specifically Chinese foam manufacturers. China launched a special inspection campaign into 3,000 foam manufacturers across the country last year and promised to punish any violations.